Hello and welcome. This is Kendra and today I'm excited to be a part of a collaboration hop with a few of the Kendra's Card Challenges video team members and we are all creating projects with the Altenew Build a Garden sets using the Challenge 11 sketches. These are the Altenew products that I'm working with today. This is the Glowing Gardenias Build a Garden stamp set. It has three different gardenia images along with some sentiments that you can piece together that all center around glow or glowing. Like you glow girl, you got it glowing on, you are glowing, you have a lovely glow, your kindness is glowing, and a few others. But it also includes a matching die set that cuts out all of the images. Plus there's a couple of leaf dies in this die set as well. It also includes the stencil set. It's a set of three layering stencils and on the back of the packaging it has instructions for which part of the stencil to use on the different images. Each of the stencils are numbered and a part of it is used to color all of the flowers and the other portion is to color the leaves. Each of these have numbers that correspond with each of the images so you know which stencil to use. And then the third stencil allows you to mask off the large gardenia image and ink blend a glow around it. I'm also using this set of blue Altenew inks to color in my flowers. Now I know gardenias are white, but I wanted some blue flowers on my card to match the pattern paper that I picked out. And I selected these three patterns here from the Altenew Enjoy the Ride paper pack. I thought these would look really good together. And I will be using card sketch number 12 from Challenge 11. Now this is a free printable you can download on my website, kindrascardchallenges.com until September 30th of 2023. That's when the challenge ends and it will be archived, but a new challenge will begin on October 1st. So for more information about Challenge 11 and how you can have a chance to win over $1,000 worth of prizes, check out my links in the description box below. Off camera, I cut my pattern papers according to the measurements on the sketch, and I'm using a lime green card base I've cut along the short edge at four and a quarter inches and I'm scoring it at five and a half inches so that I can have a top folding card. Now I really love this Alta New Bone Folder here to burnish my cardstock. It has a flat end and then a pointed end so it's multi-purpose. And I'm stamping the two individual gardenia stamps onto a scrap piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock using my stamping platform and the darkest blue ink from that blue ink set. So after getting a dark even impression, stamping it a few times since these stamps are new, I then decided to pull out my stick and stamp mat so that I could easily use the stencils to color these flowers in. I'm placing stencil number one on the larger flower and I'm first adding ink through the stencil with the darkest color blue. And I'm applying it with this handy brush by Altenew that was included with the build a garden set. It gets into the small nooks and crannies really well. Next, I align the next part of the stencil on the stamp and went a shade lighter. And then I continued shifting my stencil, getting lighter each time using each of the indicated holes, I guess is what you call them, on the, on the stencil. Now on one of these, I used the wrong number on one section of the flower. So you'll see that I have a little white section on the end of one of the petals, but I'll fix that here in a minute. But after doing the larger flower, I did the same thing for the smaller flower using the stencil to color in the petals. So while I finish my stenciling, I'll explain more about this hop. I'll be giving away three digital download prizes for hopping along with us so be sure to check out the other videos in the hop and we'd love it if you would like and comment on our videos the link to the next video on the hop is in the description box below but to officially enter you'll want to complete the form linked in the description box once you're finished with the hop but you only need to fill out this form once i will also have links to all of the kendra's card challenges challenge 11 prize sponsors down in the description box, as well as a link to all of the video design team members. There's a link to my website that gives a biography of all of the creators that give card making inspiration using the challenge sketches. So I hope that you will check all of them out and follow them on their social media platforms that they use.
So after coloring both flowers, I bent my stick and stamp mat back on each end so that I could remove the images without curling the paper. And then I used the coordinating dies to cut these images out. And I also used the leaf dies to cut out leaves using the pattern paper. I wanted to make sure that my leaves were the same lime green color that I used for um, my card base and the colors that are in the pattern papers. So instead of using a white square in the middle, I used the back side of the pattern paper with the splotches which is just like a light blue watercolor pattern. And before gluing everything down, I wanna get the layout exactly how I want it so that I'll know where to stamp my sentiment. There's been too many times that I messed up stamping the sentiment after the fact. And I'm putting the words, your kindness is glowing, kinda of to the right on that square between the leaves. And I'm hoping it will stay in place as I transfer it over to my stamping platform. So here I'm just lining it up straight using those grid lines on the platform and just making a few adjustments so that it's not crooked. Now I'm using this eucalyptus ink by Catherine Pooler and since this stays wet a little longer than other water-based inks that I have, I can add some clear embossing powder on top to make it shiny. But first I added some anti-static powder on top before stamping and then after applying the clear embossing powder, I let my heat gun heat up for about 30 seconds before applying the heat to it. And this is one of my favorite parts about embossing is just seeing it magically turn from a dull color to something shiny. And here it is up close. Next, I glued my pieces down. And for this particular sketch, it doesn't call for any layers. So in order to keep everything level where you won't see ridges or bumps, I used Colal 3D glue gel to add to the edges behind that striped piece since it's sticking up quite a bit from the card base on each end. So this 3D glue gel helps to keep it elevated instead of it being smashed down. And then I also added a scrap piece of pattern paper behind the square to keep that level. And then after gluing this down, I set an acrylic block on top while it dried. And then a little bit later, I added my flowers. And again, I'm gonna be bringing in the 3D glue gel to give those flowers a little bit of extra dimension. Now for the parts of the flower that's sticking to that light blue square, I use regular li liquid adhesive, and then I put the 3D glue gel on the other parts since it's all kind of unlevel. But I really like how this 3D glue gel just makes it pop out a little bit more. It it's not like foam tape, but it does just lift it a little bit. And then for the embellishments, I have this large pack of enamel dots by Altenew in different shades of blue. So I'm adding three of the small teal ones to the bottom right hand corner of that square. Now, Since the sentiment says glowing and I didn't use that glowing stencil to give it those rays, I thought I would add some shine to the flowers to help them glow. So I'm using this new Simon Hurley solar paste, or I should say new to me, in the beluga color and I'm going to paint this on top. So to keep it from being messy, I'm using the piece of cardstock that I cut the flowers from to be a mask to help protect my card. And I'm using a flat tip paintbrush to apply a light coat on top. And I think this definitely took this card to the next level. This paste is gorgeous on these flowers and it does dry pretty quick. Now it's really hard to see that shine in pictures but I really love how this card turned out. There's so much you can do with this awesome build a garden set by Altenew, and I look forward to making more cards with it. A big thank you to Altenew for collaborating with us and sending us products to use. I'm definitely a huge fan. 
But don't forget to click on the link below in the description box to find the next person along the hop. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Don't forget to fill out that giveaway entry form also and check back to my channel after August 24th under the community tab to see if you're one of the three lucky winners. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.